My name is Sarah Germain. I'm the assistant area biologist at Anome, and what we're doing out here is a moose survey. Out on the Seward Peninsula, and, the, and we're looking for bull moose. We're trying to see how many bulls there are out there compared to how many cows we see. In the fall, we'll look at weather and see if it's flyable weather. Um, and if everything looks good, we'll go out. To decide where we're gonna go, we'll look at the habitat in the area we're surveying. And anywhere we think the moose might be, we wanna make sure we're sampling that habitat. When we see a moose, circle around it, and we wanna find out if it's a bull, if it's a cow or a calf. If it's a bull, we want to know how big the antlers are, and we have five different categories of how big the antlers are. So younger moose might have what's called a spike fork configuration. For medium-sized bulls, which are, have an antler size of about 30 to 50 inches, and large bulls, which are greater than 50 inches. We'll cord them on a data sheet We'll get the total number of moose in the group and take a waypoint and move on and keep flying. <laughs> Back at the office, we will total up the number of moose that we saw and compare the number of bulls per the number of cows, which is called the bull-cow ratio. In Northwest Alaska, we aim to have 30 bulls per 100 cows. Anything below 30 bulls per 100 cows, we might recommend fewer bulls be harvested so that the bull-cow ratio can increase. And anything above that, we may recommend that more bulls can be harvested. This is one of the most significant surveys we do all year for moose management and take the estimate of the bull-cow ratio from the fall survey combined with the abundance of moose in the area and we'll make recommendations to the public and local advisory committees on whether there needs to be any changes in the hunt in order to keep the population healthy.